Michael Hughes. Welcome to British Ivory Schools e-learning platform. My name is Miss Morin and today I'll be taking you on home economics for the key stage one and our topic says food and good feeding habits. Repeat after me. Food and good feeding habits. That's good. So our key stage one comprises of year one, year two and year three for today's Topic. So let's go further into it. Someone will ask, what is food? Foods are solid and liquid substances we eat to keep us healthy. Like when you feel sick, would you, your mom would always say, go and eat food, go and eat fruit. And after eating it, you have a little strength in you, don't you? So you simply, food is anything we eat that keeps us healthy, strong and gives us energy most of you when you eat after eating you feel like you can carry your house on your head i know you can relate to this so we will go next we'll go to the reasons for eating food food makes us grow and gives us lots of energy say after me food makes us grow and gives us energy number two we eat we eat so that we don't feel hungry Whenever you feel hungry, what do you tell your mom? You say, Mom, I need to eat something. Mom, I'm famished. Mom, I'm very hungry. And what does she say? Go and get some food and eat. Number three, we look beautiful when we eat good food. Your mom always says, don't eat junk. Hmm? So you have to eat good food. Eat a very good balanced diet and you look very beautiful and smart as well. We go to good feeding habits. Say after me, good feeding habits. Good feeding habits are ways we should behave when eating. They are those, those um, um, characters we display while we eat our food. Good feeding habits before eating. Good feeding habits before eating are those things you do before you actually start eating your food. Number one. Pray and thank God for the food. Whenever your mom drops a plate of food, she always tell you to bless your food. And in school here, what do we do? We always pray, some have food but can not eat. What are you doing? You're thanking God for the food which you have received. Number two, wash your hands properly. Don't always forget, you should do what? Wash, wash, wash wash your hands wash all the dirt away before you eat or else you're going to get yourself infected number three use clean cutlery and plates you should always make sure your plates are clean and free from germs before you actually put food into it and you can't use a dirty spoon to eat why because you're going to get infected so make sure your cutlery is are always washed and cleaned and placed properly on the table before you eat. Good habits when eating. Good habits when eating are those habits you display while you're eating your food. Number one says, take small quantity of food at a time. You don't feel your spoon and then you mop. No, you don't eat like that. You eat gently. Eat like a king. Eat like a queen. Like a princess. You are. Number two says, close your mouth while eating. When some people eat, they get to chew and you get to see what they eat. No, that's very wrong. When you eat, you do what? Close your mouth and chew your food gently. Number three says, do not play when eating. Your mom would always say, sit in a place while you eat eat so why so you don't get to mess up your eating area or choke on your food number four says do not talk with food in your mouth when you're eating and you're talking at the same time you notice that particles of your food are being spilled out and can actually mess up your eating area you can actually choke while talking with food in your mouth so, uh, when eating your food, you should always display a good eating habit to, to make your younger ones actually know that there are certain ways in which you should eat your food every day. I know you all like this 
and I know you take this to the next level. Be safe, guys. Bye. -bye.